Welcome to NOCO Hemp Earth Week, and thank you for joining us. My name is Stephen Christensen, and I am the VP and GM at Canadian Greenfield Technologies Corp. I will be speaking to you about our hemp train advanced processing technology and how it can help bring field to market. At CGT, we feel that for the hemp industry to be successful, it must profit from all fractions and derivatives. All right, so who are we? Canadian Greenfield Technologies Corp. is a Calgary-based hemp materials and engineering company in business since 2002 and the hemp space since 2011. We are the developer, engineer, manufacturer, and seller of the Hemp Train Advanced Processing Plant, a full hemp processing platform capable of separating whole hemp plant into high value fractions. Hemp Train was commercialized in 2018, and in addition to this, we began sale of our first commercial hemp products made using the Hemp Train technology in 2017. So now to the hemp industry. As many have now discovered, there is a gap between farmers' field cultivation and harvesting and the high value markets. It's important to stop here and realize why high value markets are critical. The definition of a commodity is a good or service whose wide availability typically leads to smaller profit margins and diminishes the importance of factors other than price. Farmers are constantly fighting this. This is actually why farmers are getting into hemp because it is more profitable than the last best crop and for a quality hemp industry must continue to be so. However, without processors, farmers really only have access to seeds, and these markets are already seeing market share loss to countries with lower production cost. It is the high value markets where the US and Canada excel, and for these high value markets, processing is imperative. In fact, it can be laid out like this. For the North American hemp industry to grow, it must create value added products. Farmers are not in a position to create value-added products without the help of processors. Successful processors will be those who are technologically advanced. But process what? Hemp has many high-value components, including a high CBD fraction, a low CBD fraction, bast fiber, and herd fiber. Hemp has many great properties, but separation into its constituent components is necessary to fully take advantage of them. But how do we access these markets? How do we make a high CBD fraction? How do we make long, strong bast fiber? And for that, I'd like to show you our hemp train technology. Advanced Processing Plant is therefore a complete whole plant processing platform, separating bales into separated fraction streams. It can be optimized for a desired final product, which is essential in high-valued engineer products, and it can significantly improve processing efficiencies by reducing loss, reducing capital costs, and reducing operational costs. The Hemptrain Advanced Processing Plant is available in the U.S. and Canada, and includes the CGT Bale Fiber Opener specifically engineered, designed, and manufactured for opening hemp in round or square, fresh or dry bales, and mitigating loss of CBD. 
An explosion mitigating dust collector is designed specifically for hemp train and for hemp as an agricultural dust. It is self-cleaning and NFPA compliant. A dry additive system for the herd stream. To take advantage of the clean, refined, and size specified herd stream, the additive system is capable of adding whatever dry flowable additives you'd like into the herd. Whether baking soda for cat litter, or fertilizer for garden products, or even just the color blue for branding. Finally, the hemp train is fully PLC controlled and allows for both ease of operation and optimization of feedstock and stream with full control over every motor and VFD. In fact, there are multiple editable profiles, and that means that you can optimize feed, whether it's fibery, herd heavy, just flowers, round, square, fresh, or dry, and make sure that your operator can simply load a profile and push start. Hemp train separation can be optimized toward your priority markets. If bast fiber, herd, and hemp infused products are the priority, processing dry material is optimal. If CBD is the priority, processing fresh green material is optimal. In fact, here's what the fractions of two different varieties, Catani on the left and CFX1 on the right, look like after separation using a hemp train. As hemp train is non-destructive, there is no appreciable dust fractions. Let's introduce these fractions. High CBD fraction. Current CBD market projections predict the CBD market to be worth 22 billion by 2022. With the introduction of the 2018 US Farm Bill, the market price of CBD has decreased dramatically as supply has surged and efficiency is forcing a transition from orchard style to broad acre feedstocks. This calls back to the previously mentioned criteria that successful processors will need to be technologically advanced. The high CBD stream, consisting primarily of bud leaves, is only industrially separable from fresh green material using a hemp train. This stream is therefore a highly concentrated feedstock for extraction, as it contains the majority of the plant's CBD while excluding the excess straw and lower CBD material. Low CBD fraction. We often refer to this as green microfiber, and this stream is achievable by processing dry hemp straw. There are no other systems capable of separating this stream at the same time as bast fiber and herd. Low CBD fraction or green microfiber can be used in beauty products, animal supplements, soil amendment, infused beverages, amongst many others. Bast fiber. Bast fiber from hemp train is long and strong, from six inches to three feet dependent on variety. This allows for easier and less destructive cleaning and most importantly, alignment. Fiber must be aligned in order to cut it with a narrow size distribution, a necessity for high value engineered products with reproducible properties. Bast fiber is used in concrete fiber, composite fiber reinforcement, and high value textiles. Herd or shive fiber. Herd from the hemp train can be size specified from around an eighth of an inch or three millimeters to two inches or 50 millimeters. Due to its cleanliness and being whole granular particles, it is ideal for high value applications such as food preservation and cat litter. Different fractions are separated depending on what feedstock is being processed. If dry processing, hemp train increases harvest efficiency substantially. Harvest the hemp plant, let dry until around 15 to 20% moisture for baling, process with hemp train and separate into bass fiber, herd fiber, seeds and green microfiber fractions. Here are the products and a chart showing some of the benefits of the hemp train system. For more on dry processing, please visit our website and read the dry processing white paper. If CBD is your priority, then processing fresh green material is an option. If harvesting fresh green, hemp train can increase productivity in two ways. One, separating the high CBD bud leaves from the sugar leaves in larger creates a high efficiency fraction containing the majority of attainable CBD in a lot, around 25% of the biomass. Two, Hamtrain can replace or streamline multiple harvesting and processing steps, leading to increased trichome retention. Remember this picture from a few minutes ago? In fresh green processing, this is more than just the relative fraction quantities. This now speaks to efficiency, capital, and operational costs. It speaks to drying capacity and its capital and operational costs. It speaks to extraction and its capital and operational costs. Let's put it another way. This graph compares hemp train to other processing methods, including whole plant, tops, and strippings. What needs to be considered here is that if it can't be separated, it needs to be dried and extracted from. 
So even though other methods may only extract from a portion of the whole plant biomass, the material being extracted from is still being diluted. Put even another way, drying and extraction are huge bottlenecks to processing. The more low or no CBD material you put through the dryer, the more heat, energy, time, trichome loss, and cost occurs trying to remove water from material that should not be there to begin with as it does not contain CBD. This is the same for extraction. Extracting from material that does not contain significant amounts or any CBD decreases your CBD production capacity. Once separated, the high CBD fraction can be used as feedstock for extraction, while the low or no CBD fraction can be used in additional value add markets. Creation of a high CBD fraction can lead to three times the amount of extractable CBD, or a 200% increase when compared to simply processing cut top material. To the best of our knowledge, HempTrain is the only technology which can do this. Sieving, for example, sometimes called conditioning, cannot sieve wet material. Drying the plant to facilitate sieving simply dries low CBD sugar and fan leaves as well, effectively diluting the high CBD stream. The inverse of this is also true, wherein it would require only 33 kilograms of high CBD feedstock to extract one kilogram of CBD, when compared to the greater than 100 kilograms of cut tops currently required. Finally, there are processing efficiencies, which are the reason to process fresh green material as opposed to dry. The problem is, trichomes are fragile, they're on the outside, and trichomes and CBD are easily destroyed by heat. Once dry, it is very difficult to prevent CBD loss. There is loss in every step, for a multitude of reasons. Even extraction loses around 25% of CBD. If we conservatively estimate the loss per processing step at only 10% of remaining CBD, we get a chart like this. By using a hemp train, it is possible to replace four steps with one, leading to a reduction in CBD loss of 20%. This is substantial and probably still conservative. On the right are the extraction costs for 1,000 acres. These values are one third of the quoted values to incorporate the cost of used equipment. Hemp train concentration of feedstock substantially affects extraction capital requirements. For more information on hemp train and fresh green processing, including all calculations, please read the white paper on our website. The hemp train advanced processing plant will minimize CBD loss steps, concentrate CBD in high CBD fraction, separate hemp into high value streams, and is flexible in feedstock and products produced. It is for all of the previously stated reasons that we see hemp train advanced processing plants playing a necessary and key role in the North American hemp industry. I'd like to thank the NOCO team for their initiative, invitation, and stewardship of the hemp industry, and you for watching.